the Kershaw Oh So Sweet model 1830. This Kershaw is really nice and light. Uh, I, I enjoy it. We picked this particular knife up. I'm going to say price point right away just to get it out of the way. $17. Um, and Kershaw quality is there. It has a Zytelish handle with kind of a, I guess you call it a spiderweb pattern on it. Not a lot of traction. Uh, 1 to 10 traction, maybe 4. I'll give it. It's not really a tactical folder. Okay, that's that's really kind of what, what it's all about right now is a the tactical folders and stuff, but this is not a tactical folder. It's not a bad EDC. It's it's very light for the size of the the blade itself. Um, it's not extremely large. It's not extremely small. So you got the Kershaw box that it came in, the oh so sweet tag. Get rid of that, and we'll show you the uh, the back side. Kershaw likes to do tip down carry, so this clip was up here, and I had to remove it and put it down because I like tip up when I take it out of my pocket. It's immediately ready to deploy. Um, let's do another one to ten for you on the clip. I say seven, seven and a half because it does carry a little high. You get about a half of an inch, maybe a little less, when it's in your pocket. That's going to be sticking out. Quality. The, the clip is excellent quality, excellent retention in your pocket. And it's a, it's, it's a very light blade for the amount of metal that it does deploy. Um, Centering-wise, you, you're not going to get too much gap inside that. You know, it's kind of leaning a little bit, but there's, it's got such a good flat top wedge. Um, it is, It does have steel liners. And it is in in-frame lock. And we'll, it's a flipper. No thumb stud. Very fast. Uh, very cheap, very nice, and extremely sharp. I can't really emphasize that enough, how sharp that this knife is. Straight out of the box. Straight from Kershaw. And there's your locking mechanism. There is an adjust, this is the adjuster if you need to adjust it by any means, but I did not have to. I didn't feel a reason to push this back, come down, and it comes out very, very rapidly. Uh, extremely quick, easy to deploy. I'm going to give you a little uh, showing on how, where it starts to go when you flip it. Look at how far back I can pull this. And it goes. With a lot of blades, do not do that. They'll start somewhere like around here. This guy, you can almost pull him back to here and I think I can get him to go right, yep, almost all the way back. So that just shows you how fast it really is. So that's, that's a good look at it. Let's take a measurement real quick. This isn't going to be a a long one fellas. I'm gonna keep it down. This is a knife review. Let's not get crazy. A solid three inch with a beautiful belly on that blade. Excellent working belly. And full seven inch. So it's not bad. Uh, let's leave this guy out for a minute just to uh, just to sh show you 
couple of different things here. So if you take that out, I'll show you some size comparisons. The Tremor, the Kershaw Tremor. Okay, serrated version. You've seen our vids. A little bee hanging around us. Um, he wants to join the party too, I guess. But uh, basically, you can see the, the size difference. And a lot of people say, you know, with with this, it's not so much EDC. I don't mind carrying this for an EDC. This, this is not mine. This is a friend of mine's. Um, but at the same time, you know, if you can get a nice piece of steel, let's line up the, the blades, and then you can see the difference in handles, thickness, width, um, and just overall heft. You have a lot of blade and a good small, but plenty of working capabilities. Finger choil is good on the liner locker. You have some uh, jimping, which gives you pretty decent, I mean actually very adequate finger choil in the bottom. No jimping on top. Let's get rid of the tremor for a minute. So you have all flat on the top. This is a little bit of traction. Not nothing that I can really speak of that's going to make a difference. It's not going to break the break the bank on the whether you buy it or not, you know. It's not a tactical folder. It's not something that uh, you know, it's it, you have slippage up on top. But it is a great EDC on the larger end compared to a SOG Flash 1. if you want to go a little bit bigger. The SOG Flash 1, let's look at the clips, see the difference. That's the way I like to carry my knife, deeply in the pocket. See how the clip is on that? Yeah, it's a little bit different, right? Enough said. So, and then we'll take some uh, another knife that we uh, recently picked up for a trial for four dollars and eighty three cents a war tech which is ridiculous four dollars and eighty three cents for this guy but it's not about the war tech today but we're gonna show you this guy and it is very decent still carries low you know you kinda get that you're gonna get that high um high-end clips more on the SOGs. Now, don't get me wrong, Kershaw does make a good clip. It's just a matter of how you like to carry it and where you like it setting in your pocket. But this will also give you a good idea of when you unlock it. You see this? From there to there, there's nothing. back to the oh so sweet I have a lot of tension on my finger right now all the way to here so that gives you a good look at the Kershaw oh so 